Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be setting up DRS cluster and storage DRS. So let's get into the video and let's have some fun. All right, everyone. So here we are on my desktop. So if you remember, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you learned something new, like subscribe and share. And if you're returning, let's have some fun. So on our data center here, we have, in my case, InfoSec Pat's data center. We can right click, let's do a new, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Let's do a new folder, new storage folder. And I can just name this uh, VMware, I don't know, dash data store dash cluster. Cluster, okay, let's just do that. And we can just hit okay here. All right, so I'm just gonna put all the, actually what I wanna do is rename this. Let me rename this. I wanna put local, uh, data store local. I wanna put all the local data stores that reside on our ESXi host, like this one, let's throw this one in here. Data store one, two, three, and then here we go. So I want to sort of clean this up. So we have data store, these two data stores. These are for our iSCSI. So if we come back to data stores, we can see these are the two iSCSI ones, right? So we made those uh, 700 gigs. So once we cluster these, we should be at what? 1.6 terabytes, I think, if I'm doing that math correctly. So let's go ahead and create the storage cluster. So let's go ahead and right click here. We can do storage, new storage cluster. And what I'm gonna name this, let me see, did I put a name on here? I'm just gonna put uh, DS underscore cluster. DS underscore cluster. That's fine. All right, so here we're gonna put VM uh, FS, that's going to be the type, turn on the storage DRS. So we need to make sure this is enabled for our data stores to replicate. And I want to have everything fully automatic. So we can just throw fully automatic across the board here. And let's go ahead and fully automatic. All right, that's all. We want to have everything automated. That's in my case, this is what I want to do. Go ahead and click OK or Next. In this case, my disk utilization, instead of 80%, I wanna make sure, I wanna make this 70% just to make it a little better. That's, I think I have that as my notes. Let me make sure. Yep, 70%. So let's go ahead and click on Next here. In the cluster, we have no clusters yet. The standalone host, we're gonna put all the hosts. I have EXI, e SXI01, 020304. Go ahead and hit next. And here, let me make sure that's, yep, we need to get both of these data stores. Let's go ahead and hit next. So we're gonna have 700 plus 700 here shortly. We're gonna see that. Okay, so now that's good. Now if we come to our vCenter, let's go to summary. We can see that, actually let's come back to storage summary. And we can see the capacity now is 2.5 uh, terabytes. Let's go ahead and go to monitor. We can see all of our cluster as well. We can see here, the storage is not 700, seven, seven plus seven is 14. So it's about 1.4 terabytes, okay? So we can look at the monitor of this cluster we can see any triggers, the overview, any tasks that are running, okay? Everything is complete. Obviously it looks a little weird because it's a little zoomed in. Let's see if we zoom this out a little bit. Let's see if we refresh this and see if it comes out a little better. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and just make this larger. Here we go. All right, let's just zoom this in a little bit more so we can get a little more real estate. and better eyes on it. Okay, so events, we can see the events that happen. Okay, the clusters, the virtual machines, we don't have any virtual machines yet, the recommendations, the faults, the history, 
that's all in the monitoring. The configuration you can see here, VM overrides, rules. You can start creating rules and all that stuff if you want to. The permissions on our data centers, on our local storage, the hosts. We can see all four of our hosts in this case. The one that has most utilization is ESXi1 because our vCenter is running on that host. No VMs, no VM templates yet. And the data stores are the two data stores that we have. Perfect. This looks all good in my opinion. If you have any questions, please leave it in the description below. That pretty much concludes this video on how to set up and cluster our data stores. So it's super simple. And you know the reason why you would do this is to have more storage across your data stores and make sure everything is replicated God forbid one fails or something happens, we can replicate that storage. So thank you so much for viewing and please subscribe, like, and comment below. And until next time, have an awesome day.